bright and early as per usual at 6 a.m hey, what's up guys shanty here welcome back to another episode of the pixelmon series before we start this episode i do want to say that i appreciate the support that you guys have been given this series the amount of love i really 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 truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart thank you so much i wasn't expecting this series to get the amount of love that it's been received as of lately and it's honestly it's thanks to you guys for real i really do appreciate it um in the previous episode we left off uh currently at the nether of course as you guys saw we had the portal waypoint over there and we did a lot of exploring we found the fire gym and we currently saved the waypoint to it oh that looked like a big fur oh it's just a small one of course but we do have the fire gym the nether was explored in its entirety of course we do of course still have a lot more to explore duh but in today's episode what we are going to do is train our pokemon to level 40 of course because we do have to battle our rival smoke and we might be doing a gym today we might be doing a water gym of course since we do have decidueye and ampharos there so i might as well level them up using the gym and see if i can actually beat it also in the previous episode after i went to bed there was a pokemon that kind of spawned that i did record also the portion of it but it kind of froze it had a like frozen image but you can still hear the audio of course so there was like no point of including that and just having just a still picture there but we found a zamazel Zenta that I threw a cherish ball at and we were able to capture it. Look how amazing this looks. Wow. So yeah, as you can see, I currently captured this bad boy. It was it took me a while. I think I threw like 30 cherish balls before I actually cut. Yeah, I had like a stack and I threw like 30 before actually capturing it. And then just from there, I just I got off, honestly. I was like, you know, I'll just capture it and then get off, of course. So we do have a transfer tutor over here that currently spawned out of nowhere, just out of thin air. What can we do with you? Ooh, dual chop. That's a really good move. And it only takes nine aluminum ingots. So I'm gonna have to get nine aluminum ingots for you. Then Fisher for Blastoise. Eh, it's not, it's not, there's no point actually using that. But the dual chop, I will actually take because it's a dragon type move. So why not? So I picked up, okay, buddy, come on. Let me out. There we go. So I picked up the nine aluminum ingots. Let's go ahead and throw all of this out. So we can go ahead and teach a dual chop to Lucario. Because I did look at the other Pokemon. Oh, it's three, not nine. Oh, well, never mind. The target is hit twice in a row, which is pretty cool. I will take away quick attack because we don't really need that anymore. So yeah, it only took three aluminum ingots and I brought nine for no reason. I'm just going to put the rest away. There we go. So now, as I was saying, we're going to go ahead and do the water gym. We do have two of them which this one is the closest one 5,000 so what I am gonna do is get on top of the Sidueye and currently go from there with them of course but yeah you know like I was saying at the start before you know started jumping into you know today's episode thank you guys so much for the support really the amount of love you know the subs the likes the comments and everything that you guys just been given this series itself it's just been phenomenal and i've really 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 appreciate it that's why you know we have this series and we do have a really special one coming up pretty soon that all i'm gonna say is that it has not been done yet in the series type of form of course doing it like oh 100 days blah 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 yeah that has been done with that specific theme itself of what's coming because i don't want to exactly say what it is yet until we actually get it rolling but that has been done you know in a 100 days type of form but in a series it has not been done yet so you know stay tuned for that that's coming with my boy smoke once again that he's currently not here with us today as he's currently busy at the moment so i decided to just hop on alone and you know just get a small head start of course but even then you know i'm so excited for it i can't wait for you guys to see it it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be really hectic and i don't know how we're actually gonna do it but of course we'll, we'll find a way to it you know what i mean because we always do but honestly thank you guys so much i really love you guys i appreciate you guys so much but yeah let's go ahead and get to the water gym and i'll bring you guys right back once i get over there okay so here we go we currently made it here and i do see here that there is a den right here let's see who do we have it's like a oh no it's a horsey a horsey that isn't really that bad let's go ahead and try and get in it oh it's a big horsey i right, gotta use razor leaf on it okay Damn, someone used Thunder Punch and that instantly took it. They'll might use Giga Drain. Armorite or what is that or about? I don't get it. I've seen that or so many times and I still do not get it. Come on. There we go. 
We got we got ourselves a horsey. Oh shoot, but we're about to die. Come on, go up. Ooh, almost drowned to death. What I did realize is that I could actually stay on the water for long without drowning, which is pretty interesting. I'm not entirely sure why, but I want to go ahead and get up here. Can I do this? Oh, never mind. There's a ladder right here. Well, okay. So, in order to start the water gym, oh, well, first I gotta get up here. And we're on all the way over here. Then we have to get up here, but I wanna go ahead and start out with Decidueye first before we actually. <gasps> oh. Well, okay. Uh, Rockwinid. I guess we could just go ahead and start with that, of course. Go ahead and pull out Amphrost quickly. And use Sticky Web? Come on. Alright, let's go ahead and use Thunder Punch. Waterfall? How is that super effective? Let's go ahead and use Discharge. Oh. No, it's one. It's one away, please. Oh my God, there's no way. All right, let's go ahead and use Razor Leaf. Leash Light did that much? Jesus Christ. Okay, Crawdon, let's go ahead and use Synthesis. Uh, okay, I used Aqua Jet. That's just absurd. But it's okay, it's a Crawdon, so we could go ahead and use Lucario and pull out the good old Aura Sphere. It knocked it out. Nah, bro, this is a joke. Okay, let's go ahead and use... Flash cannon. Oh, it withdrew? Ah, right, yeah, sure. Pool of Lapras. Why not? Okay. Mantine? Oh, my God. Please. Okay. Okay. I think I'm done so here. Yeah, it used gold. I am definitely done. So oh, I didn't mean to break anything here. Yeah, it definitely took us down. Okay. This was definitely unexpected. Let's just go ahead and get over here to Nurse Joy. Heal up and then try it again, of course. Because they didn't even let me start right. They just, you know, did not even let me pull out the right Pokemon. I'm trying to pull out Amphros and you, you guys didn't even let me start. So yeah, we, we battled you. You destroyed us, so there's that. Let me just go up slowly but surely. Okay. So we have a boss right here. They start out with Amphros, of course. Empolia! Bruh. What is my luck? Oh, use Thunder Punch to see. Super effective. Oh no, it has leftovers. Let's use Discharge. Gastrodon, dude, right as I, why does Gastrodon, what the hell? Why does Gastrodon sound like that? Oh, this is where I got hit with the Earth Power? Oh my God. Razor Leaf, G brother, Galissapod, really? I know it's Water and Bug, so I could use Pluck. First Impression, Death, brother. It's Water and Bug. Okay, Amphros could definitely do something. Leech Life, dude, why does, like, how do they? Okay, yeah, sure. And it let it, brother, please. The sucker punch. Okay. Lucario should go first. Yeah, see, I knew it. Brother, it's taking all of them out. I can't do shit. What is wrong? It says equal. Oh, sh shell smash. Okay, never mind. Okay. It says like equal level, but these dudes, like, I, I don't know if they have like perfect IVs and EVs and stuff like that, but like, holy shit. Okay, yeah. First impression is not supposed to do that much. Come on. That is just absurd. Aqua J brother. Headbutt, okay. Headbutt again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. 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 Dude, I still have to go through her. And then who's the boss? You up here? And I bet he's like level 70. What the? Okay, I guess you're level 100. Who's the actual boss? That oh, you are the boss. Hello. Exits. Exit. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, oh, okay. I guess you don't want people to stay there. Okay, I'm so sorry. Never mind. But dude, they're like not letting me do anything. All right, so we're back outside once again with all our Pokemon fainted. I don't get it. It says equal levels, and then my Ampharos should be able to like, you know, take them down and Decidueye also. And they just, it was like first impression. Dude, if it was the video game, that first impression would not do that much health. I could promise you and guarantee you that 100%. What I am gonna do, since I need mainly, well, who's the highest one? Decidueye and Infernape? Okay. So they should be equal. I'm gonna bring Electabuzz just to see if we can actually defeat it. Let's go ahead and start out with Decidueye again. Hoping that they don't pull out a damn Gastrodon or some shit like that. Or not Gastrodon, who was? I forgot the first one. But let's go ahead and try it here with her. Oh, she didn't even let me throw the ball. She just, she was like, no, you're not throwing no ball at me. Okay, Shockwave. Scald and then look at that. It takes away all of our like brother. It takes the whole health out. Oh my god Okay, let's go decidue. I guess scold is a critical hit, and I got burned so Oh my you pull out primarina. Oh My god, that's a weird sound effect for primarina if you ask me it's heavily burned moon blast There's just no way I'm gonna beat them brother What oh, but close combat isn't gonna do much cuz I forgot it's fairy 
dual chop isn't gonna do anything because it's fairy so that's dragon oh metal claw will though okay never mind metal claw won't do anything yeah you know what so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and stick to capturing pokemons right and making sure that we become the champion and we beat smoke because literally there's no way that i could actually beat these gyms it's like they have perfect ivs and evs like on these pokemons they're like super mega well trained it's <laughs> it's like brother what there's just no way that you casually beat me just like that and I, and, and I bet like it's no matter what I do, let's say if I fight the grass gym with all fires, they're just going to defeat me. They're just going to beat me down. They're just going to abuse me at this point. Let's go ahead and do that. Of course. Oh, wow. It's like can't do anything. You cannot do anything. I could try fighting the, the, the gym leader. Sure. But will I beat it? That's the real question. I don't think I will. He's not going to allow me to win whatsoever. I mean, of course, by default, as a normal gym leader, you're not going to allow anyone to beat you. Oh, wow. They're so harsh. <laughs> you know what? Let's just get back to the base and continue training to prepare for the, you know our next rival battle and then see what we'll, see where we go from there oh my god I'm, I'm i'm really depressed oh boy let's just go ahead and get back to the base i'll see you guys over there shortly all right so we're currently back here it took us a while because i stopped at a couple dens just to check them out same way i'm gonna check out this one who are you it's like a starly oh no it looks like a weeping bell oh, okay hold up let's get back up here is it a weeping bell yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a weeping bell. Yeah, look at that big ass mouth. But yeah, what I what I'm gonna be doing, despite being depressed, of course, and hating every gym with my guts, of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and just train my Pokemon and just get them up to level 40. You know, just go ahead and fill this in here quickly, just to get more sugar cane. Place the torch there in here, so that way it has light. So of course, with the uh, with the series, because I wanted to ask you guys, I've been meaning to ask in a couple episodes now, what else do you guys want to see us do within this series? Because I mean, the main purpose of it is, you know, get our Pokemon, of course, the ones we prefer for our party, train them to the highest of our ability, or you know, that the game allows us, which is of course level 100. Also try, you know, capturing legendaries, which I've caught up to three so far, and then you know, once we reach level 100, battle it out to see who's the official champion, like of the series itself. Of course. That's the whole purpose of it that you know like at least that we have planned because as you can see the gym we cannot do that whatsoever this is a gyarados i actually want to do this let's go ahead and do this uh start solo of course because smoke isn't on Bloom. that's a really big one all right so i should be able to use thunder punch on it and hopefully take out most of its hp Ooh, 25 percent well 24 of course which is pretty good use max geyser Ooh, sludge bomb safeguard okay 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 let's use discharge to see if discharge does anything probably does more Ooh, max straight okay so we got it to 50 it cannot use counter oh man let's go ahead and use thunder Ooh, never mind looks like he took all of us out yeah he took me and clefairy out yikes well there's that but yeah as i was saying you know what else do you guys want to see us do in this series any other mods in particular that you guys want us to add maybe to make it a little bit more interesting because as you guys can see the game or at least the mod itself pixelmon itself does not allow mobs which is kind of sad because i would have liked to actually fight mobs because i mean there's swords and there's axes and a bunch of stuff of course but there's no mobs so it's kind of like crazy of course that there are no mobs i would have enjoyed it but it, i i think it's because the pokemon itself are the mobs because they're they, they give us like mob drops and everything rotten flesh redstone i don't think there's a mob that actually drops redstone i could be wrong though but wool leather you know a bunch of things left and right as you guys can see so yeah it's kind of it's, it's oh whoa watch out so it's kind of like we're pinched in a sense when it comes to i thought i heard something interesting kind of comes to the sense of like what can we do you know what i mean let's go ahead and fight this dude have our uh little pull. pig knight what the okay aura sphere damn we used ember oh boy gotta use aura sphere once again who's he gonna pull out go goats isn't gogo like grass and normal I'm gonna use aura sphere yeah okay oh my god it took us out chill fam all right let's use flame wheel and what L level 30 bro pig knight evolves at level 36 that's cheating it's okay don't worry we got this close combat takedown oh my god you took yourself down buddy okay far-fetched okay okay mac punch i meant to use close combat and it took it out now nah, you're insane let's go ahead and use thunder punch double i know that double is actually it's actually a normal type so we're kind of like pinned here let me go ahead and revive both of them here we go let's go ahead and revive infernape i use copycat which won't really do much to me of course and then let's go ahead and pick up lucario once again i feel like 
I mean, they're not really that low level to either. You know what I mean? So since it's currently paralyzed, let's go ahead and pull out Lucario. Can't move. Awesome. Or a sphere. Boom. Took it out. Okay, Lucario got the same amount of uh, XP. Let's go ahead and use Dual Chop, which goes twice. Thunder Shot. Damn it. Okay, there we go. Oh, we won. Wow, let's go. Okay, so you're back up. Does that say level 50? Level 50 ferret? I don't think Lucario could take it down, but we'll try. It's gotta use Aura Sphere. It hit me five times. Oh no, don't hit me again five times, please. Oh, it only hit me twice. Okay, there we go. 828 points. Wow, I would have expected a level 50 ferret to actually, you know, give me a good amount of points, which it did not. Who are you, Harriet? I think I hear you 24 7, like even in my dreams. <laughs> you have to go. Gotta use Aura Sphere, take it out instantly. Why does a Glamio drop you fish? That is the million dollar question that I actually want to know. Because if I'm not mistaken, it's a cat. It's not a fish. And it's dropping me fish. Just very intriguing. Bloop. Hey, can I ride you? Oh, I could ride Lucario. I thought it was only bigger Pokemon, honestly. Not Lucario. Let's go ahead and come in here. Let's go ahead and bloop. Let's go ahead and pack it up here quickly. Heal him up. Let's go ahead and get up there and try fighting those trainers. They're probably going to kick my ass. Probably not entirely sure but we can go ahead and test it out to see so who are you 30 40 and 50. okay so we can start with you radicate go ahead and use aura sphere you're out jigglypuff jigglypuff is fairy so we can use metal claw which is super effective uh oh my god thank you i got scared because my previous metal claw missed so aura sphere no not body slam not the lucario okay it's okay okay we got close combat, but before I do so, let's go ahead and pick Lucario back up. Ooh, there we go. Let's go ahead and Mac Punch. Ooh, that did 50%. Oh my, why does Play Rough take away so much? Okay, Mac Punch again. Vivalon, Flame Wheel. Okay, out. Ooh, Hurtier. I don't think Inframe can actually take it down, but I'm going to try. Close combat. <gasps> Ooh, it did. Let's go. Bro, Inframe is at 1 HP. Let's go ahead and get back down out. Get back down here and heal quickly. A Puku Miku within the Poke Center. Okay, so that's done. All right, so now that I'm back up here, should I try for the level 40? I feel like I should. Ooh, Umphazent. Okay, this is definitely a counter. Yeah, see, I knew it. Okay, so since Umphazent is normal and flying, Thunder Punch, oh my, you would protect yourself. What is wrong with you? There we go. Brave Bird again, you're insane. Okay, so it hit itself and it's paralyzed. We could go ahead and bring Lucario back because, hey, Lucario did not deserve to drop like that. And we could go ahead and use Discharge now and then boom, easy out. Arbok, okay, 36. Ooh, Bone Rush. Ooh, this is where it gets good. I'll take out Counter because I don't really use Counter as much. Bone Rush is a really good move. Earthquake? Since <laughs> when do you learn that? Okay, so I cannot bring out Rampardos because it's just instantly going to go down. I think I'm going to go with Infernape. Go ahead and hit with the... Yeah, I'm gonna hit it with the nothing, of course. Let's go ahead and use Pluck. It has Fire Fang. See, this is what I mean. They have outstanding moves. Yeah, and I think she's gonna beat my ass. Okay, Gunk Shot. Oh my god, that's a lot of HP. There we go. Banette. Let's go Bite. Dark Pulse. Nah. What are these moves? Dual Chop. No. There's just no way. Dude, how does an Arbok have a Fire Fang and Earthquake? Gunk Shot, it's understandable, of course. But. You know, Earthquake? I mean, I mean, I mean, he does have a big ass fucking tail, if you ask me. And he's just gonna slam that so hard. All right, let's try once again. Put out a Unfazent. So the Unfazent. I mean, I don't think I could actually battle again, can I? Yeah, no, it's only once a day. And the level 50, you? I'm not fighting you whatsoever. You're just gonna. You're not even gonna let me move. I wanna move. Is this a trainer? Oh, no, it's an old fisherman. What do you give me? Bring a fishing rod to this NPC to have it. But don't I have a fishing rod? Oh, I do have one. Okay, so I do have one here. Let's see. You got something you want me to take a look at? It's in good condition. Oh, that's right about it. I thought you were actually had to take it away from me. That fishing looks like it fits a professional. Will I get anything though? Two dots, three dots. Oh. Oh! It's a pink Magikarp. I'm just going to throw a repeat ball because it's a pink Magikarp. So why not catch it? I know it might go in. There we go. 
Got it, got it, got it, got it. Catch up Pokemon with a repeat ball, Magikarp jump, capture a special Magikarp. See? See? I'm glad I threw this. I'm glad I did it. If there's something I've learned, it's to go ahead and just always keep every ball that you, you know, you manage to pick up. A ball that I don't have is a fastball, which I will buy 15. And then heavy balls, I do normally have. Well, the ancient heavy balls, of course. But these I do not. And I'm going to pick them up just for the simple fact that if I see another legendary, I know I'm going to need it. In order to capture it pretty fast because the cherished balls for the zamazenta i feel like that was just lucky that was just a luck ball in, in this case not a, not a cherished ball a luck ball because i was not expecting to just go ahead and capture like i, I mean i, I kind of do like 30 balls of course and almost all my pokemon dying but still i managed to capture it and i was not expecting to capture it all right can i ride that no i can't ride the amphros i wish i could one that i can ride is the infernape i can hear his voice go amph <laughs> it just like disappears. Oh look, Pokestop. Here we go. We got more balls, of course. And if this is one that oh, this one's been untouched. And if that is so, then there should be some stuff in these chests here. Yeah, there's a couple things here and there. More Pokeballs. I mean, the more the merrier, of course, because we actually do need them. To be honest, I do want to capture Starly because I've always used Starly and Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, of course. Like as a starter Pokemon, of course. But it's it's like normal and flying it learns close combat of course let's go ahead and check you a special attack thank you and then on top of that i don't know it's like it's good but with just one thunder attack i'm gonna be down and out instantly oh man i feel like also a really good addition to the team even though what kind of ruins it is the whole flying aspect of it or the flying type of it would be would be Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl would be such a nice addition. Oh, we found another tower. Oh, it is another tower. And this one's different from the looks of it. What's this one about? Oh, this one's fighting. Ooh, the Tower of Darkness. So the other one was a uh, the Tower of Water, whatever the hell it was. And this one's of Darkness. Oh. Level 80? You're actually scary. I don't think water... I don't, yeah, no, he will not let me touch him. Yeah, nope. Forfeit. Bye. Let's go up. Oh, you're a common boss. I should be able to take you down. All right, so let's go ahead and fight this boss to see. Common. Absol. Okay. We got close combat you. Ooh, he has play rough. That's actually... Oh my... What the hell? It's mega evolving? Nah, that's that's just next level. That's just next level abuse right there. But thankfully for that, for that close combat, that literally saved us. So this one's psychic and dark. So I know it's probably going to take it out. Yeah, superpower. So that... Attack and defense went up. Psychic and dark. What can I use on you? I mean, it has superpower. I cannot pull out Lucario because it's just going to instantly knock it out. I can pull out the Sidui and then hit it with a pluck. It has knockoff? Bro, what is with the like amount of attacks that you have? Or just you Pokemon. You guys have a move for everything. Okay, Water Pulse. Okay, knockoff again. And it's a critical hit. Aquatel. Knockoff again, brother. Okay, let's go. And for us, let's go discharge and knock. Oh man, I think I'm dead here. Ooh, it cannot move. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and thunder punch again. And oh, 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 I mean, sure, sure, sure. Let's go ahead and use aura sphere. And if you're still not dead, nah, that's just next level abuse right there. If you ask me, can I use takedown? Yeah, it avoided the attack. There's just no way that it avoided the attack just like that. Wow. Okay, I guess we'll just walk all the way up and just take our school. I mean, yeah, we won <laughs> fair and square, if you ask me. I mean, I didn't really win fair and square, I mean, but still. Move of Relearner. Oh, Move Relearner. Wait, Spirit Phantom? Was it Spirit Shackle? I mean, it's currently... I mean, I know it was Spirit Shackle because it was with a S, but dude, it also has Phantom Force, which is a really good move. But I'm just going to go with Spirit Shackle because Phantom Force, it like vanishes, even though I could avoid a attack. No, I'm gonna go with Phantom Force because they're both physical. So I'm gonna go with Phantom Force just so I could disappear and not get hit. See what Amphro Dragon Pulse Power Gen, mm -hmm. bro. You got moves on moves. I'm gonna do Dragon Pulse. I'm gonna keep Thunder Wave just due to the simple fact that Thunder Wave is really good for when it comes to capturing Pokemon. And then for Rampardos, do you have any Rock type moves? You do not. When do you learn Rock type moves? Of course. I'm actually interested. So yeah, we have some gems here that aren't really going to do much for us. I will take the torches and the lanterns, of course. Let me just, oh, well, let me throw them up here. Bloop, bloop. And something I will be taking is this. Oh, bloop. There we go. 
Scroll of Darkness. Yes, for the Cub Fu. So now I have to find a Cub Fu. Well, two Cub Fu's. Now I got the Scroll of Waters and the Scroll of Darkness. So now I actually have both of them. So now what we could do is go ahead and get out of here before, you know, they just my Pokemon. One of my Pokemon just come back to life and then just instantly get obliterated again, which that's not what we're currently looking for. Man, I cannot believe these Pokemon have every type of move. Any move. You could you could literally name it and they have it. But at least we got the scroll of darkness. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get let's just go ahead and get back to the base. I was not expecting this to be here, honestly. But what I will do, I'll save a waypoint. Scroll of darkness, and let's go dark gray. So that's saved, of course. Let's just go ahead and get back to the base. Oh, I gotta fly up. I can't fly over there. I just realized none of my Pokemon are alive. So I guess we are running back to the base. But before I do so, let me see what's in here. Ability capsule. I'm still trying to learn what these ability capsules are for. Switch between these abilities when it is used. What would that mean? Because I have various abil I have four ability capsules and they've all come from dens. Well, yeah, all of them come from dens except two of them, I think. But yeah, I'll meet you guys back at the base shortly. Let me let me just explore this. I've never seen this. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. Hold up. It goes up. It has like some hidden stairs. Bada o enchanting. And then the relic thingy that you could just sell to traders. But I mean, we don't really need this. We could just go ahead and throw that down. <gasps> okay, I'm still alive. Oh my god. All right, all right, so let's go ahead and just get back to the base. I will meet you guys over there shortly <laughs> once I get over there. All right, so we're currently here. Kind of took us not that long, honestly. And oh, oh, that's a boss. That's not a pink one. That's a boss. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's a boss Meowth. But before I start, should I pull out? Okay, you have leftovers. Let me put the focus sash on you just to make sure you don't drop first. It has payday. There we go. It's going to use scratch out of all the moves you could use. And you got credits and you use scratch. Jesus Christ. But it had a Rocky MZ, a lucky egg. <gasps> the lucky eggs are really good. They are super good. Get that extra XP because huh, they're going to need it for when you start training these Pokemon, of course. Go ahead and throw the lucky egg and the Rocky MZ in there with the focus sash. We have these bricks, which I will be going ahead and taking out of there. So now what I don't under understand is like what these blank TRs. Okay, buddy, what the blank TRs are for. I still don't get it what they are currently for, but let's go ahead and pull out Rampardos here quickly. Oh, uh, please don't over level ancient pop bro. Me talking about rock type moves and I just got one. Okay. So I'm going to remove takedown and it went up two levels. Now nah, that's perfectly fine. That is, that is beautiful. So now I have to just go ahead and put all of this stuff away. The bricks can just go there. I do have to finish all these ores. I'm going to put you in there and just remove you from there. Organize all of these ores here. The prismarine crystals, I'm not entirely sure what that's for. So I'm just going to throw them in the corner there with the fire resistance potions. I do love me my potatoes. That's for sure. Who are you? Oh, it's a pedo. I want to see what's up there before we, before we go quickly. Oh, that's a, okay. Never mind. Good old Noctow. Who are you? You look like a trainer. And if you are, I want to try my, you are. Okay. We could go ahead. Ooh, this is a unfortunate matchup right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch to Decidueye because I know it's going to try a fighting move. Yeah. Drain punch. I figured. So let's go ahead and try using pluck to fully take it out or Recorio. It's a yellow type. So that's like a normal. Let's go spirit shackle. Did I put phantom force? I could have sworn I put phantom force on and I did click it. That's for sure. But I guess I did not fully save it. That's for usual. There we go. So yeah, but on the bright side, we have the level 60. Oh my God, you're scary. But on the bright side, we have the pin or not the pin, the, the waypoint, of course, set up for the tower of uh, darkness where we can go ahead and just we had the move we learn over there, of course. All right, so let's see if we can go ahead and take this Grand Bull out. It's a level 60 Grand Bull. So we could, I know it's Fairy. We can start out with Metal Claw. It has Charm. Oh boy. Metal Claw again. Ice Fang. That did deal a lot of damage. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it's trying to freeze me. And if you are, you are doing a pretty bad job on it. Oh, okay. Never mind. It has Fire Fang. Okay. Okay, so let's pull out Ampharos here. Let's go ahead and use Thunder Punch. Bro, what is it with you and the Charm? Fire Fang? Holy. Okay, use Charm again. Let's go ahead and use Fire Punch again. Bro, the whole Charm thing is really annoying. It used Fire Fang and that did half of my health? Nah, this is this game is trolling. Let's go ahead and use Close Combat. Okay, so yeah, you, you, you would take it down, wouldn't you? Let's go ahead and do this. 
Let's go ahead and Hyper Potion, Thunder Fang, and it did that much. Okay, Hyper Potion again. Ice Fang didn't do much. Okay. I should be able to Metal Claw. Ooh, okay. Just one more Metal Claw and it's out. Ooh, no. There we go. Oh my God. It took us a while. Oh, was that a pink one? Oh no, that's a Mill Tank. Oh, 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 never mind. It's giving milk to, to the pony though. We are going to mind our own business. Alrighty, there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what do you want us to do for the next episode, which we will probably be battling a lot. We did level up our Pokemon just a little bit. Of course, we're really close to that level 40 mark. Like I said, the gyms we want. <laughs> We will probably not be doing it because they took advantage of us pretty harshly and it 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 hurt like a lot. You know, they they just annihilated us left and right. Look at I'm preparing an Oris tree down there. Hey, chill, buddy, chill. Put that put that ball away. Put that ball away. Thank you. And it's like I said previously at the start, I do appreciate the support you guys have been given to the episode. If you wish to support further, and it's if you wish, this is optional, of course. I do have a Patreon below or a QR code that you can scan right now with your phone to reach the website faster. It does have its benefits. If you wish to be shouted out in the videos or have your name in the videos, just make sure to, you know, pick up a subscription there and you'll have your name in each and every video from here on out. Make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell to receive more notifications for videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.